What's, What's up, ninjas? ninjas? This is Slice. And Rice. We're going to do a bunch of random facts about us individually in our relationship. Yeah, because we haven't like done this with you guys. So let's just like pretend like we're talking. Like, you know, like you're here right now. Pretend like we're talking. <laughs> You can start. All right, you want me to start? Yeah. Okay, so my first fact, and you guys are gonna hate me, is when I eat cereal, and I'm not joking, I always pour in the milk first and then the cereal. So you just told the whole world that you don't know the ratio between sugar and Kool-Aid. <laughs> what? I feel like there's a correlation between that somehow. Can we just have a debate for a second? Yeah. First of all, what do you do? Cereal okay, first. Okay, but like, where's the logic there? The logic is you know the right perfect amount of milk to put mm, in there. No. So every time you pour in a new batch of cereal, you empty your milk to do it again? No, if there's still milk there, I just put the cereal over but the top But then you might as well just start that way. No. Yeah. And then also, I like that extra layer of the crunchiness on the bottom. Like if I'm eating sugar bears, I want the bottom to be a little <laughs> soggy. And Ew! The top, and the top crunchy. So you just admitted that everyone that likes to put in cereal first likes soggy cereal. No, I just admitted that they make better Kool-Aid. My first is I used to compete professionally in video games. And that was way before y'all were making millions of dollars. You know how much I made when we competed? Not even a thousand. And you know what? I was happy with that price. Now I'm seeing 16 year olds winning three million dollars for playing a video game. Is this like your personal like therapy session of like <laughs> eventing? <laughs> As a matter of fact, my first channel was all about video games before video games was popular on YouTube and nobody watched my stuff and now all of a sudden it's popular. With Slice Mate, so I playing video games and he was really good at it. Nobody wanted to watch that, right? Right? Yeah. What you mean? Yes, no. <laughs> what, what is it? Which one is it? <clears throat> I'm sorry. I got a little bit ahead of myself. Okay. Fun fact. Before I was into video, I wanted to become either an interior designer or a cake designer. You never talk about making cakes. <laughs> I can show you a whole library of cakes I've made. <laughs> right now. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> so this is going to be in the post edit. I can't see this. <laughs> okay. This is like a nice little adorable slash sad one. My entire life, I had three different dogs. Wow. My first dog, his name was Chin. Hmm. Then my second dog, which was his niece. This <laughs> is, wait, wait. How do dogs have nieces? His sister had a child and then I got one of them. So I got his niece and her name was China. Why? Spell with a Y. Oh, you knew that. You knew no, I didn't. that. You knew no, that. I meant Y as in a Y to oh, you. Yes, China, China with a Y. <laughs> and then my last dog that a lot of you guys know was Max. And I've had him the longest, 15 years. And I still miss Max. Stop. I hate when he <laughs> pretends to fake cry because he actually wants to. <laughs> but now I got my bad ass cat, Lola. So I peel bananas from the bottom the correct way, which is the way that monkeys peel them. So it's you like on YouTube and was like, how does a monkey eat a banana? Almost precisely, yes. <laughs> I prefer not to have ice in my drinks. Oh yeah. I love room temperature beverages, but I don't like ice. It shortens your drink. You have less to drink. So one of my fun facts is that I'm a PK. PK? If spot. you know, you know. You don't know what that is. I do know what it is. I've known you for a long time. You're past this kid. Oh, can I add another fun fact? What? I applied for the show called Preacher's Daughters. Then they saw it and it was like, nah. <laughs> well, I have a fun fact about my gaming stuff. I applied for WCG Ultimate Gamer. And they actually called me back for the final audition, but my phone broke. So I didn't even get a chance to answer the call at that time. I'm still sad about that, man. You wouldn't be here be... today if you were on that show. Exactly, I'd be rich. Stay okay, so next fun fact, me, because you just said one. No, I, I, fi I finished it. Why are you so close? <laughs> All right, this is a weird one. I rarely wear shorts. I don't like shorts. Even if it's 150 <laughs> degrees outside, I will wear jeans or sweatpants, man. I don't like showing my knees. Why? What's wrong with your knees? Nothing. I have really hairy legs, and I'm sorry. I like your hairy butt. <laughs> then they just don't know. You saw my cheeks, man. 
I love your hairy legs. I don't. <laughs> I'm self-conscious about it. That's right. Me, Slice, have insecurities, all right? Wow, Matt's a human being. He actually has insecurities. <laughs> and when I was little, they used to call me chicken legs. Aww. I don't know. I was really skinny. He was like, man, look at your little chicken legs. And he used to like make me self-conscious. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> yeah, keep playing. <laughs> you want to turn this into a real session, girl? Okay, I used to have a phobia of worms. And it was so bad to the point where, like, I made my sisters call them W. You don't like worms. I don't like Ws. Let me show you something. <laughs> you got a worm just laying around. It's a dead one. You want me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, look, you still got skins. It's the Lola's uh, collar. Is it next level if you got a diamond collar for your Yes, yeah, so that's bougie. All right, my first stand-up, I bombed on stage. And for that, you know I'm about to dig in our library and put it on the timeline. Oh no, man. Like, they put on the best acting ever, like. All right, so like I said, you're ready. Nothing, stop it. This is really good. I will say this for motivation for anyone out there, okay? Even though I bombed on stage, I waited five whole years before I returned back on stage, and I did well. And I'm not showing that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, it's on my personal YouTube channel. I will admit, there's a lot of vulgar in it, okay? I like to be as authentic as possible, so in case you see me out in the club. No, in case you see me out in the club. <laughs> I'm going with Bachelorette, guys. Oh my gosh. If you don't calm down, <laughs> why you look so crazy? Okay. I don't have a middle name. <laughs> I'm glad you looked at your list and then you just came out like that. I'm unique. I don't have a middle name. No, you have a middle name. I don't have a middle name. <laughs> yeah, I was copying the way you just said middle. I didn't say you middle. Said, I... No, I'm a weird player. You said, I, you said you do have a middle name. No, you have a middle name. <laughs> I didn't say middle, <laughs> middle. You just have a middle name. I don't have one, buddy. Oh, well, we have to make one for you. Do you guys remember um Zoom? Come on in, Zoom. Come on in, Zoom. I begged my mom for my middle name to be Caroline because I was obsessed with Caroline. You look like a Bernadette. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You look like a Nihu. <laughs> <laughs> Glory Nihu. Yo, that's a dope name. What the heck? That is a dope name, Nihu. Yo, if your name is Nihu, comment, comment. You look like a Matthew Willa friend. Willa friend? <laughs> I, I've never, I've never heard somebody name. Willa friend. <laughs> Yo, see, this is why you're not naming our kids. Oh, wait, can I say one of my other facts? When I was younger and kind of still to this day, I've always wanted twins and I always want to name them Tender and Tilder. You, the more you <laughs> name kids, the more you lose. That was literally my dream. We cast all my sisters. All right, this is a weird one for me, but when I take showers, I take showers backwards. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> like the water has to hit my back. It feels weird. I think that's normal. Okay. Well, I guess in like commercials though, it's always like. When I first get in the shower and I turn it on and I find that perfect temperature, like you know the one that's hot but it ain't burning you, I get in the shower and I just look down like And I do that for like a good 10 minutes I just reflect on my life But 10 minutes So you're wasting water No No yes It's not wasting water The water is helping me reflect on my life Then buy a fountain When am I gonna put a fountain? <laughs> exactly Buy a fountain here I've called <laughs> Okay I've called the cops more times than I can count <laughs> You can't be living in Baltimore and be saying that. I have! I can't even count the amount of times I've called cops on my hands. I've called cops like so many times. That's a snitch. No, and it's only been in times of like helping people. Let like me, who are you helping? Let me, let me give you an instance, yeah. okay? Just let, just yeah, yeah, a quick me, story time. Yeah. I called the cops because I saw a freaking like one or two year old in the car by herself next to a baby seat and, the, and a baby was in the baby seat and I was like 
let me see if like our parents are here or something. I'm picturing you doing that <laughs> right in front of the car. <laughs> I, I called you, remember? Yeah. I, I was freaking out. I was like, oh my god, like, do I have to literally break into this car myself? Because I've seen on worst case scenario, that used to be a TV show. If you see a baby in the car, like you have to open. And it was like hot outside. But then like the girl came out and she was like cussing me out. She was so mad. She's like, my own business. Like I was like, yo, and, like I called the cop. Whew, I, I swear, I feel like God gives me like eyes for certain scenarios because he knows that I'm willing. I'm willing that to was like, That was a good time to do it. <laughs> okay, so if you didn't know this, I went to the hospital twice for eating too much pizza. That's right. That is a true fact. The first time it happened, I ate pizza for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for an entire week. <laughs> 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 so I get a slice for breakfast when I get to school. After I get out of class, I get another slice. And in my final class, I got a last slice. And I did that for an entire week. Are you, like, you actually did I, that? I did that for an entire week. And on Saturday, something didn't feel right. <laughs> <laughs> my stomach was hurting real bad. I couldn't use the bathroom. So I went to the hospital and they x-rayed me. And they saw a block of cheese right in my stomach. And then we did our video. A hundred layers of cheese on a pizza. And the very next day, that video put me in the hospital. And I had to explain what happened again. So now I only eat pizza once a month. That's true. It's like a special day when we get to eat pizza. But your boy Slice still like pizza, so don't get it twisted, homie. Don't get it twisted. Nah, nobody said the same. Well, look at me. I was voted on a homecoming court and prom court. In how, high school. how many votes you get? Now? Every single person had to vote on all the girls and only 10 girls got homecoming court. And for a prom court, that was only five girls that made it. So I was on vote. Your girl was popular. <laughs> how does it feel to be with the queen? Even though I didn't get prom queen. But you ain't a queen. If you didn't get it, <laughs> then you're not a queen. Soon you'll be my queen, baby. I got a special one. This was for our relationship. In college, Gloria and I entered a contest together and we won first place for a video contest and we were competing against all of the colleges in America. Our video together got first place. Actually, that video is on our YouTube channel. It's called How to Have Healthy Relationships. Today we will be discussing the topic of healthy relationships. And at the time, the prize was like to win a $500 and that like meant everything to us. That was a lot of money, man. Dude, when you're in college, $500 is like 5,000. That's what it feels like. For me, it was 5 million. <laughs> I remember I got a check for $20. And you I cried, he cried. I cried, I was so happy. I was so broke, man. That's rough. Oh, the time. Man, it is nothing though like being broke. Like there's something so great about it. Like when you're in college and you just like, you gotta find a way, you gotta like, know what that feels like. I would very much rather have money. <laughs> yeah, but like, wouldn't you very much rather like start off not having money and then have money? No, I would just wanna <laughs> have money. What you mean, yo? What are you talking about? That was actually one of my facts. I don't like money. Whoa, what you doing? <laughs> you guys to go? To me, yo, no, I swear, money. look, I look at my list. I don't like money. I just, money controls people, okay? So I'll handle the finances. <laughs> That's all I mean. I just think it's so like, so overrated. <laughs> you gotta win, <laughs> what you mean? All right, what's another uh, relationship thing? Matt said I love you first to me. <laughs> you saw a smile? How are you gonna throw me under the bus Cause like you that? did. Technically, I didn't. Technically, you said you loved me first. I just wasn't looking. Yeah, what? when we was in the car and I was pumping gas, you mild, I love you to me. Well, we were super early in a relationship. That was months before I said it first. You said you loved me when I wasn't even looking. Well, here's yeah. a fun fact too. When you said you love me to me, I was thinking about not saying I love you back because I didn't want to be like cliche. Yeah, but I knew you did. Actually, no, I didn't. I was like, yo, she's taking mad long to say I love you back. <laughs> I know, I, I paused for a long time. Keep him Why on. couldn't we just I wanted to chill. keep him on his toes. Like, you know, you gotta kind of like play hard to get a little bit. Oh, I played hard to get a lot with Matt. That's another fun fact when we were in college. You played hard yeah, to get? Yeah, I did. You act like I ain't played hard to get with you. You even said this in a video. That time you was waiting for me to come to uh, the social event and I went to the arcade instead and you wanted to give me a hug. I was like, That yeah. was not playing hard to get. She was like, yeah, I'm gonna hug, man. I was like, yeah, she wanna hug me. I'm gonna go I to the arcade. I remember we were like not talking once and it was like that like really like, like that, it's kind of like flirty, like tension, like hot tension. 
Calm down, the wedding, baby. The wedding is in like a month and a half, yo. I did stuff to you, and that's how I won you over. Won me over like I'm some prize. All right, you're not a prize then. Not how you feel. Yeah, you want to be a prize now, don't you? Yeah, exactly. And make sure you guys subscribe because we're trying to hit million before marriage. Let's make this happen together, ninjas.